Okay, Jim here as usual with the office tank. We're going to make this a short video, at least I say that up front. Uh, the tank you're looking at has been totally redone because I was having trouble with it. And the sad news is uh, it was being overtaken by snails and the snails were kept in check before by the two clown loaches that you've seen over time here. And because of snail problems in my other two tanks, I moved those two clown loaches into the bigger tanks, the corner tank and the 55 gallon. And not thinking what it would do here, when they weren't here, this tank got quickly overtaken by snails. And so I looked around for clown loaches to replace the two in here. And it turned out pretty hard to find them these days. I finally did find them over at Hidden Reef. They were $20 a piece, and these were small clown loaches. But I said, you know what? I'm going to go for it anyway. So I got four, $80 worth of fish, uh, with the idea that I was going to put two in this tank and add one more to each of the other two tanks, even though they were small. Well, I ended up putting all four in this tank. And after about a week, all of a sudden I lost one. And then I lost another one. And over the course of a week, I lost a couple other fish. And I thought, what's going on here? And the only thing I could figure, because I do change the water about a third easily um, once a week. Not religiously once a week, but you know what I'm talking about. And I finally figured out that maybe the residue in the gravel, which was really left undisturbed over time, is doing well with the plants, but maybe it's poisoning the fish. So given the gravel seemed to be the only thing I could think of, the water is well filtered, but still. So I took all the plants out, following Bruce's recommendation, what he does, he takes all the plants out. I very seldom do that. I did, and then I really vacuumed the, the gravel extensively. And so what you're seeing here now is one, a change in the lighting. I've got three LED lights up there now and also the gravel has been totally cleaned and I do have a sma snail problem but I've actually lost all four of those clown loaches which is very sad and everybody else here is doing good now especially those black mollies which I'm always so proud of and so even though I've moved some out you can see they're doing well here and now there's a lot of babies swimming around in this tank also so I'm very pleased with that. The guppies and the black mollies are the only ones in here. There's a couple baby sword tails that I moved from that maternity tank into here. But the plants now are, are thinned out. As you can see, that Amazon sword and some other plants. Some kabamba in the back left-hand corner and some of that other broadleaf plant that I got from that hidden, uh, from uh, Discus Madness. It's always doing well here. But I'm really sad. I wasted $80, and more importantly, I lost four very nice looking fish, even though they were very small. And so my challenge here is the snails again. So what I'm doing is when they start going up the glass, and I get quite a few of them on the glass, I put my hand in there and I squash them so that the fish can eat the meat of the snails. But anybody have suggestions what to do about those snails besides clown loaches? I'm afraid to bring the clown loach from the tank back in here. One, I would be hard pressed to catch them. But secondly, uh, I'm afraid I'd lose them because we did lose to Ick some the other two clown loaches many, many months ago. Maybe it was a year ago. Anyway, looking for ideas. And I had uh, bought snail traps one time. And by putting algae tabs down there, the snails tend to gather on those uh, if the fish leave them alone. And so I've been able to capture many snails with a net and throw them away but uh, looking for ideas and so if you can help add the comments here to my fish tube Isn't that beautiful lyre tail on that molly oh, there's one of the young sword tails a lot of the mollies have lost that lyre tail part.
The water looks different because of the LED lights, but it's nice clean water now, and the fish seem to be doing much better a week now since I've done that drastic cleaning. So here's hoping that solved that part of the problem. But uh, the snails, not so much. Okay, add your comments when you get a chance and help me solve my problems.